I love gardening, so I decided we should do a wheelbarrow racing league. I challenged Ivan Miranda and Tom Stanton, whose channels you should check out, to radio control wheelbarrow racing. So we're going to get a wheelbarrow, make it into a radio control car, then we're going to take them to a racetrack and test them. So check out their channels as well for their own builds. And the rules are, it has to be a commercially available wheelbarrow, you have to keep the wheel that was there and it has to touch the ground and you have to keep it in roughly the same place and also it has to be radio controlled, no passengers and that's going to make it really fast and furious. So the first thing I've done is cut my one wheel off. So we need to put that back because that's part of the rules, but I've decided we need at least three wheels really, and at least one of them's gonna have to steer. So it's easier to have one wheel steering than two wheel steering. So we're gonna mount this on this, and this is an eight inch caster base because I can't get a caster big enough for this wheel. So we're gonna put it back on and allow it to swivel round. So somehow I'm gonna get the frame this is on, hammer it all flat and fix it on here. Put it back on there and that allows to steer. So I've welded that on there to make a caster and obviously the centre of the wheel drags behind the centre of rotation so it should work properly. The weld's pretty nasty, I think this is galvanised steel and I'm welding it with mild steel gear. So um, it's alright, I think it's not going to come off but it's a pretty nasty thing, it's burnt all the way through this. So hopefully it's strong enough but there we go, it's a bit sparky and messy. So now obviously I need to chop the top of this off to allow the wheel to run on the ground and get this mounted on the wheelbarrow. Yes, we're going to use a 3D printed plate for that printed on the Lulzbot Morstruder for no reason other than it's orange and it matches some other parts coming up in the build. Well, it seems a bit crazy, but ultimately there we go, there's our working caster wheel. And obviously it works better if the top of the cast is level, so if the barrow's at this angle. But that's absolutely fine with me because, yes, it's going to have these really big wheels, so it's going to go something like this. So these are off-road heavy duty wheelchair wheels, which should be pretty substantial. And they've got this hub with some holes in. So I've made this aluminium bracket that fits on there, so that's nice and tough. And then we've got two 3D printed parts. We've got one that's printed on a normal extruder, so that it's got the pulley teeth on and those are really good quality. And then we've got this hub printed on the more extruder, so those fit together. And that fits perfectly over my aluminium plate. 
to make a nice hub with a pulley on that we can drive with a motor. So on the bottom of my wheelbarrow, I've now got these big 3D prints printed on the more extruder, so they're really tough, a bit of 12 mil studding, and now we can put the wheels on. So I think that should be fine. So all we need to do now is mount some motors on here to run on these pulleys with some good belts. Yes, it's two motors on a stick. I've got a piece of 2040 extrusion, two CNC metal plates so that they don't melt, and two 3D prints that should be more than strong enough to hold them at right angles. And these are the same motors I used on the backboard, so it should be pretty pokey. So now we just need to work out how to mount it. So somehow I need to mount that in there. And these should be exactly the right spacing for the pulleys on the wheels. So I've printed these two massive blocks on the Morstrude again, so they're really tough, and they've got two bits of 12mm studding in, so I can tension this down and tension the belts. And so those seem to run okay. So I need to move this to get them to align, and then I need some sort of block on here, which I think is going to be a bit of metal, so that I can tighten these down and we can get the tension all right. So I've just got a piece of L-shaped metal here bolted onto the barrow with some big washers on the other side, and I've got these bolts so we can tension it up, and that means I can tension up either belt, but it seems to run pretty well. So in the front of my barrow, or the back, whichever way you look at it, I've got two VESCs, which are skateboard ESCs, and those are linked obviously straight to the brushless motors, and then they've got wires that come in from an Arduino and the batteries. So we've got two 24 volt LiPos from drones, an Arduino Mega, the radio control receiver, and a little power breakout board, and this is basically doing mixing, so it's taking the signals from the front and back and left and right channels and doing differential drives so it drives like a tank. And it's all controlled from one of these cheap, normal radio control handsets. Right, we're down at Wilton Mill Cart Track in Northampton. Don't forget to check out my Batball video for the last crazy thing I did here. But let's see what the barrows look like. All right, we've only made one improvement since the build, and that's this flashing light. Right, I'm here with Tom Stanton. Don't forget to check his channel out. The link to his channel's in the description to this video. But let's have a look at his barrow. So this is my wheelbarrow. It's uh, powered via a disassembled drone. Basically four large um, motors and propellers. Uh, each produce about one and a half kilograms each, so about six kilograms of thrust pushing this thing forwards. Uh, and it's got differential thrust for steering. Uh, and then also swivel wheels on the bottom so that hopefully should be able to rotate a bit. <laughs> this is Ivan Miranda. Don't forget to check out the previous videos we did where we went to Spain and did a rocket challenge. But let's have a look at the barrow. I've made a barrel with two leaf blowers, extremely underpowered, and two casters at the back, so it allows me to do differential steering, and well, I will crush them. I think that the rain might have gone in my Arduino or the radio receiver. I don't know why it's not working at all though. That's particularly odd. Yeah, it might be wet. It's gonna put some code on this spare Arduino and then not make make sure it doesn't get wet, you know. It's all the weather's fault. So I'm just gonna put another one in now and make sure somehow we're gonna cover it up, I think. Should have made a top on this box really, shouldn't I? The problem with the barrow, it catches all the rain. Two, one, go! 
Tension up these rods, it pulls the belts nice and tight. And hopefully nothing bad will happen. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. He's off. Well, I think that's into Barrow Racing. Don't forget to check out the other guys' channels. That's all for now.